which finding, if true, will most directly undermine Foster's hypothesis. When digging for clams, their primary food, sea otters damage the roots of eelgrass plants growing on the sea floor. Near Vancouver Island in Canada, the otter population is large and well-established, yet the eelgrass meadows are healthier than those found elsewhere off Canada's coast. To explain this, cons cons conservation scientists Aaron Foster and colleagues compare the Vancouver Island meadow to meadows where, other, where otters are absent or were reintroduced only recently. Finding that the uh, Vancouver Island meadows have a more diverse gene pool than the others do, Foster hypothesized that damage to eelgrass roots increased the plant's rate of sexual reproduction. This, in turn, boosts genetic diversity, which benefits the meadow's health overall. So the claim here is that the damage to the eelgrass roots boosts the meadow's health overall. So enter choice A says, at some sites in the study, eelgrass meadows are found near otter, popula otter populations that are small and have only recently been reintroduced. This is incorrect because this does not say that the eelgrass meadows were harmed by the otter populations, which would undermine Foster's hypothesis. So A is incorrect. B. At several sites not included in the study, there are large, well-established sea otter populations, but no eelgrass meadows. This is incorrect because this does not say that the sea otters themselves hurt the eelgrass meadows. It simply says that there are no eelgrass meadows in these populations, or these areas. C. At several sites not included in the study, eelgrass meadows' health correlates negatively with the length of residence and size of otter populations. This seems to be correct because the Foster's hypothesis is that the damage to eelgrass roots by otters improves the meadow's health overall, and but to undermine the hypothesis, you would have to show that the otter would damage the eelgrass meadow's health overall. And this is what this says. It says that eelgrass meadow's health correlates negatively with the length of residence and size of otter populations. So C seems to be the correct answer. D. At some sites in the study, the health of plants unrelated to eelgrass correlates negatively with the length of residence and the size of otter populations. So this is incorrect because the this is for the hypothesis is focused on eelgrass, not on other plants. So D is automatically wrong. So the correct answer is C.